Welcome back, folks. <laughs> Whoa, thousand Welcome damage! Welcome back like to her. the Mystic Quest. Yes. The place where Gaga won't be. We're both asleep. I can't do anything. And they're gonna <laughs> keep you asleep with the hypnotic tune. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill Ruben now. Oh, please, he's not gonna die. You should be more worried about Benjamin. Yeah. Anyway, um. Ruben's the in one terms who can actually. Other, like, Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, and in the couple other episode titles for my LPs, like for an upcoming part of Warrior Line that's not up yet, it won't be going up till this Wednesday, in fact. Um, uh, I nicknamed it. Because no, I recorded the entirety of Soap Canyon in one part. That's um, um, great that we're continuing our discussion since last video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that in was fact, so long ago. And I, and I had it all one word because and spelled exactly how it looked in that blink and you miss it joke in uh, Roger Rabbit, which is if you look at the oven in that cartoon scene that opens the movie, it says Otter Nell as the brand name. Yeah. I really did not notice that. I noticed that when I was growing up. Wait, wait a minute, wait, rewind. Oh god, they got away with that. Oh my god. That movie got... That movie just kind of deconstructs a lot of things. Yeah, they got it. away with a lot. Like, there's like even a blink and you miss it frame of like, of like, I think it's either Bugs or Mickey flipping off one or the other. <laughs> looking shocked. I'm pretty uh, sure it would be Bugs flipping off Mickey. Yeah, I think it was Bugs, now that I think about it. So... Be nice, thank you. <laughs> what a maroon! <laughs> oh, awesome. Be nice, okay, stinker. okay! He is despair! Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of sad that we were discussing Roger Rabbit, though, because Bob Hoskins passed away, like, a couple months ago. Aww. Yeah. I miss I miss Bob. He was a great actor. Even the stuff, even the stuff he did, like after on uh, Jurassic, was pretty good. Someone. Oh boy. Just, we we've got we've got a woman just up a really here. Great actor. Hmm? There's a woman up on the mountain. Is this destiny? No, Draken, it's not destiny. Hmm. Is it yeah, you're right. It's not destiny. Uh -huh. If this is destiny, you will be shooting these guys instead of trying to hit them with bombs and flails and stuff. Yes, Kevin, it's density. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was, that was a totally joke. different joke from that, but whatever. I like that <laughs> joke. Okay, good. Uh, I, I wasn't sure if anyone had heard me, though, I'll be honest. Cause, so I just kind of just kept quiet to, I, instead of just trying to force the joke, so. Hmm. This might be a problem. Oh boy. Because you see, this lady here, she has a name. Would you like to know what that name is? Medusa. How'd you guess? Because I watched HC Daily when I this game. <laughs> yes, let's just throw Medusa into this. Yes. And plus, the green hair kind of gave away, too. And so. you've got nothing that defends you. Again, or defend against petrification. Or I can defend against para paralysis, but not petrification. Or no. morning stars. <laughs> I can't defend against morning stars. No, Ouch. you cannot defend against the spike flail. Oh, and plus I got rid of those wolves. Oh. Oh, petrify. You're oh. dead. Ben's petrified. We're doomed. We're doomed. Oh. There we go. Oh, <laughs> uh, he went on all, and you know, it probably because he, he was got poisoned. The wolves too. That sucks. Oh, I have an idea. Wait, Let's for try this. They have three heads. What are they trying to be, Cerberus? Yeah, uh, maybe they're Cerberus's deranged offspring. It didn't come he's out head. right. 
Touche. But if it was a werewolf, if a werewolf actually did have three heads, that would be very painful to the person making the transformation. It's like, where'd you get the two, two extra heads from? You don't want to know. I don't know, they keep arguing with me. And, and, then, and then when you have to turn back into a human, it's just like really painful to hear. Probably feel them shrinking into your neck again. It's like, ooh. Assuming they do shrink back. Okay, I'll stop now before I completely break someone's mind. Meh. It's fine. I've got a really weird imagination sometimes. Oh, don't worry, you're not the only one. Yeah, sometimes I don't even know where my brain goes. And it worries me. It's like, there are times when I try to start, when I start something, and I have absolutely no idea where I'm going with it. What? And, and then I look back on what I said, and Heinz, I'm like, oh shit. Oh man, where'd her hair go? You cut off all the snakes! Snake, snake, snake! Snake! You should have, you actually should have been at Proton John's stream actually last night, um, Drake, because, um, because uh, funny, because uh, funny, because uh, he had an alarm set up to have Anakon scream "Snake" when it was time for him to end the stream, because uh, oh. he was good. He uh, started the stream early to kind of so because he was going to go see that second Sharknado movie with one of his friends, <laughs> and it was basically letting him know when it was time for him to essentially leave, and and it just started going "Snake, Snake" as he was playing the second game, or the last game of the night. Shut the fuck up! Sorry, I thought Snake was dead! I was just like, see if I can finish this off, uh, turn this thing off, it's kinda loud. And it just kept going, Snake! Snake! <laughs> this is so funny. I tried <laughs> to hit continue, but it won't! Hey, Draken. Yeah? You- <laughs> Do you have- Do you have 10 GP for a cup of coffee? My allowance is 2 GP a month! Do you have any? Well, that's five. That's actually five months of worth of allowance for him, then. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, well, it is oh, one so <laughs> There's no food cooking downstairs. Oh man, I'm getting hungry already. It's like real. I'd almost ask why, but then I have to remember this is the old man. This is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Tell sign. Very modern. That when they were making this, that they decided, okay, let's make this as nonsensical and messed up as possible. This is the North American version of Final Fantasy. This game was an invention of the localization. I don't. We I got don't this know. instead of Final Fantasy V. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have to wonder exactly who thought. That this was, like that this was a, the best idea. That this was the best replacement for Final Fantasy V. I liked Final Fantasy V as well. I mean, particularly the GPA localization. It's like it's like they took. It's almost like they hired the guys who wrote the localizations for the Lunar games and told them go to town. Depends. Was the localization good or bad? Well, I'm talking about well, I'm talking about the working designs people. Oh. The lunar the translations for the first two lunar games are supposed to, are like full of are chock full of like pop culture references and stuff that are really funny, but at the same time they almost don't work. So, oh, actually, see, yes, translation kind of is kind of the best of both worlds, really, where it's faithful to the script, but at the same time it still preserves the kind of quirky, uh, same kind of quirky tone, you know, without having to rely too much on, uh, pop culture stuff. Well, uh, Bomb is very at least glad that... I'm that's talking the about case. the PSP version of the first Lunar game, by the way, because I have it, and it's mm. really good. I think I remember it was a friend of mine who actually had, uh, showed me a form topic where somebody was mad that a certain game, because mm. they didn't like the localization, they felt the translation was off, they wanted, like, an English patch, someone to make an English patch of the proper translation instead of the, like, localization. And I'm just thinking to myself, the localization works. Oh, and of course, in case you're wondering what game this is for, this is for Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Ah. You wanted a more serious translation for a game that was probably that the, the game that had its hardest in the first place? Terrible. 
Actually, no. It does have some serious moments. It's just most of it is very lighthearted. But the fact is, is that they were complaining about it was not a very exact translation. They wanted a much, much, much more closer translation, not the same kind of localization had. One person on the NIS America forum even complained that they said like, oh, NIS America doesn't know how to make proper translation. And how the characters apparently, with the way the English translation was, were turned out different from how they were in the Japanese version, and I'm just well, thinking... Well, given that the, Jap the, stand the Japanese uh, values are different from American values, I think that kind well, of... Can yes. However, I do feel that they what they did do was still fateful enough, but it worked for us. It worked for the English movies. Yeah, that's how I feel about localizations. As long as you preserve the intent of what the Japanese are getting at, but it still makes sense to from a Western point of view, and not to be slavishly to, to the... Uh, By the to, way, like, you can blow up rocks with the uh, Eastern point of view, then I'm cool mm -hmm. with it. Blow up rocks with the yeah. grenade. I mean, I mean even that's like... what it's called localization in the first place. I mean, and it's, after it's... it's and um... uh, stronger Medusa creature, it seems. Yep, but. and she's dead. <laughs> so much for stronger. Nah, the, the, the recolors of the mid-bosses are always weaker. Except for the behemoth. Because the behemoth Logical. was a tutorial boss. Yes, uh, oh, yes. So, like the biggest thing. It was. Uh, it was actually the game Reseteer: Tale of an Item mm. Shop, which, of course, that was. Uh, that wasn't exactly officially translated by like a company. It was translated by a team of like two guys. The mm. fact is, like almost everything that they changed in there was mm. so that it make more sense because a lot of the original text had to do with like Japanese or Eastern culture, and then they, and for the translation, they decided to change it to a much more European culture, so mm -hmm. you know it would actually make more sense. And they made, they actually made the text and dialogue in that game funny, and I like that. It's like when the localization remains fateful, but it manages to make sense for us, it works. Yeah, that's exactly how. I mean, that's why I think that. What, that's why I I don't might have problems with certain, like, dubbing of anime and stuff, as long as it works. Mm. Although, or... in some oh, go ahead. I mean, even in some cases, the original creator has said that the dub is probably more superior to the, the, to the original, ver uh, to the original English, ver I mean, Japanese version. Some you know, different. like, the creator of Helsing has said that the guy, or that they, he feels that Crispin Freeman was a lot better at playing, um, um, oh. Alucard than um, the the other the guy who played him in Japan. So. You want you want to know? What I, now that you mentioned that, it reminds me of um, this one episode of Digital Gaming for Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. How apparently the English voice work for Resident Evil One was considered better than the Japanese voice work. How Yikes. do you get better than that? How do you no? How do you get worse than that? That's what I'm asking. Oh, it's a jilt sandwich. You almost got turned into a Jill sandwich. What, what is it? What is it? I'll be honest, it a picture of a... I, I honestly didn't get the Jill sandwich thing into for a number of years, I'll be honest. I have the moon helmet. I In fact, my first exposure to that meme was when I was watching the, um, the Phoenix Wrong videos on uh, Newgrounds, you know, where they take, like, sprites of um, the Phoenix Wright series and yeah, set them I know. So I, I've and seen one of that. The, and one of the and one of the clips was that Jill Sandwich audio clip, and it, they were having Detective Gumshoe say it. And, <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, whoa, where'd you get those kick-ass pipes? He got them from pipe storage. Yeah. Oh man. It's like, but I couldn't think that there'd be anything worse than first Resident Evil's voice acting, except I actually do remember one line that was said even worse than that. Mm -hmm. I said it for Giga, and Giga actively asked me, are you being serious with me right now? I don't remember that. Please say it again. Okay. <laughs> There's no way I'm losing to you two! That was the line. I remember that. that. Exact one. Oh. Oh, and it gets even better. This is English dubbing from a game made in 2005, not in 1990. Ouch. Yeah, I know. I even know the game it's from, too. 
mm. Samurai Legend Musashi. Or was it Musashi Samurai oh, Legend? I've never I don't played remember. that. Um, I'd say it's probably better than you have, and because honestly, truly, that game is not particularly good. Okay. I just think, I mean, the main I... character is before. Well, not only is the main character Der, who is a teenage boy, mind you, voiced by a woman, not, and the same woman who does the announcing for the pride fight. Wow. Uh... Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, and he's the only character who really has, like, terrible voice acting, too. That's Every other character is okay. I think the weirdest voice acting I ever heard was the voice acting, English voice acting in Mega Man 8, where suddenly Dr. Light sounds like Elmer Fudd. Dr. Wild. <laughs> we have to talk Dr. Wily. <laughs> it just suddenly sounds like Elmer Fudd. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's, yeah, no, it is very weird. Uh, Got to go collect the evil make, energy, make, Mega Man. Make a little dance, like a, a dance remix of uh, a tune remix of like uh, the, of of, the, of Doctor Light's audio clips. It's kind of weird. I wish I could find it. But I can't. Collect that evil ener the evil energy, to Mega Man. It's the yeah. Eye Flight. Oh man. Oh boy, the recolor of the gin. Oh look, you're strong against fire. Yeah, I'm strong against fire. Ruben's not somehow. Well, Ruben's your tank who's got, like, over a thousand health. He's, yeah, uh, on. I box. can fix this. What? What did- what did you- what? What? Now Ruben is strong against fire. What? How? It's a glitch. In the game. Mm. Yeah! God loves the good bad bugs. <sighs> okay. I don't mind, like, if there's, like, a glitch in the game, you decide to exploit it single-player, I don't mind. I wasn't exploiting I just it. I like it it's, it's a horrible glitch. Ruben was not strong against fire. But now he is. Now he is. I don't I understand, but it. we'll just but go actually, with it. His resistances didn't get changed when the party members were switched. Right. Okay. Okay. But, uh... Do you think anyone would actually ever buy a game purely for the glitches they could do in it? Yes. I feel like that's part of the reason why people buy, still buy Elder Scrolls. Go Thanks it. Yeah. I Goat Simulator? I like, anyone? Uh, or Lane 2. Goat Simulator was bucks. purposely made terrible and glitchy just because it's poking fun at that. At the yeah. so bad it's good part. Except there are some I actually, games that really I actually pointed out this one glitch in the, in the Warrior Lane 2, my LP of it, which was. Which, which was basically, and I'm surprised they didn't correct it for the Game Boy Color version, because you'd think, like, in later release games, they would, they would have done that, because yeah, it was yeah. also present in the original Game Boy slash Super Game Boy version, which is, if you actually have a coin fall into the water, there's a chance that it could give you two coins instead of one. Hmm. And it's even present in the Virtual Console version of Warrior Light 2, I've checked. And, and there's even a chance where a certain coin, if you defeat an enemy, cer uh, so there's like a coin that'll, uh, certain enemies will uh, drop it at a Robin random moment that'll give you 100 coins. And if it lands in the water, there's a chance it could give you 200. Item duplication! Item well, duplication! Oh, Come in San Diego! <laughs> where the, are you? If it lands in the water, there's a chance it could give you two coins instead of one. But it could double the value of the coin. Of the coin. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I. I've I guess. actually shown that, and I've actually taken advantage of showing that off, in my, uh, and and say, and even saying that I'm surprised they didn't even correct it from the from the original Game Boy version. Ah, uh, back when glitches were not. Could, up on. Back Kevin. when glitches could not be corrected. Hmm? I, I I would like to do a musical number for a few seconds. That's all right. Oh. Oh, on, then. Item duplication with Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Uh, anyone hear me doing the low voice? The, the what voice? The low voice. Carmen San Diego. Yeah. That that good? I'm a bass in my church's choir, so that should help. I'm like. I'm some sort of tenor, I think. Uh, well, I, I sing bass in my church's choir, even though I think my range is more baritone, so... And I don't sing choir at all. 
to each their own. This is Salamand instead of Salamander, but oh well, text limitations. Yeah, we can't fit it. Yeah. <laughs> I still love them. Ruben's dead, no! Ah, oh, don't worry, he's. Well, it's a good thing you picked up maximum cure potions! It is. I agree. Oh no, he's paralyzed. Oh no, he's scimitar. Oh no, he's scimitar. Well, it's a good thing Venice is apparently. Oh no, me. I've been I've been petrified. Ruben. This is bad. This is very very bad. Well, oh, it's Ruben's open. dead. Let me try that one again. Yes, this time try it without failing. Let me, uh, just do that. Who let Jurassic T Rex out of his pen? God damn it. These missiles really bother me because they take forever to pick up, but it has nothing to do with the song at all! I was coming Beethoven, but okay. <laughs> oh boy, Beethoven versus yeah, Justin the Bieber. Do 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 no, classical music. If I if I say, <laughs> if, I, if I ever say I like high school music, you love that up, Ron! If you ever say that if I if I ever say that I liked high school musical, you have my permission to put a bullet in my head. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Probably knock you out with a two by four, but not pull a bullet. Put a bullet in your head. I think I deserve the bullet more than the two boy. <laughs> two by four. But okay, fair enough. Is, uh, nobody deserves to die over that. Yeah, until that's my some of my friends who don't like high school musical. Um Yeah, I know. You miss with the claw! You miss the Salaman with a claw! The claw because it hasn't been said in a while. You <laughs> uh, 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 down in a few! You have saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. Will you cut it out? <laughs> Will you just leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Toy Story. Yeah, I love those movies so much. I haven't seen them in a while. Like, have you seen a cowboy? Well, no. Oh, no, I haven't. Hey, he was talking to me! No, he was talking to me! And then you start punching each other until they knock each <laughs> the heads up. Yeah. Actually, you know, if you actually look carefully at those Rock'em Sock'em robots, one of them has part of their ear missing. Probably. Probably it's, because... It's like, and, they, and the filmmakers actually said that was a kind of blink and you miss it little in-joke to uh, the controversy surrounding Michael Jackson biting off someone's ear, a uh, part of someone's ear at that time. I thought that was Mike Tyson. Oh, Mike Tyson, rather. It was Mike Tyson, yeah. I meant Mike Tyson, but I said Michael Jackson. I don't know why I said Michael Jackson. My brain was like... Uh, you heard Mike, and then... And then it just... It just your brain just kind of, like, stumbled into a, a bits of other information, so... Yeah. It's fine. Still has got across. Yeah. Anyway. Probably because I need food, so... I'll be back in a few. Right. So now it's just me and Giga. Oh, man. I would take a while, while. No, just kidding. Okay, shut up now. Uh, it's a really good thing that these ninjas know how to miss someone who's sleeping! <laughs> it's almost like, my good lord! How in the world do you miss something that big or someone who's sleeping? Oh hey, these things actually float. These things what? They actually float. What's that? A flying enemy that actually floats? <gasps> dun dun dun! 
Hey Barry, can we get a close up on one of the gargoyles? Is it? Can we get a, can we get a close up on one of the gargoyles as he's floating and like have the dun 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 sound effect go with it? <laughs> Unfortunately, Barry doesn't edit my videos. I was gonna actually gonna say Barry just goes, "What are you guys talking about? I just shield you people." The pixel, Barry. Giga, edit that part in. Fuck you. But you're the one that edits videos. I know. Ah, uh, dude, so much stuff. I don't even know where this goes. Okay, I know where it goes now. Well, why don't I use this? Haha! -ha. Bitch. Look, that didn't hot work wings. at all. Press into Hot Wheels. Why don't I use this? Fuck. Let me try again. I have it. Hooray! Really? That's what the joke you were trying to make? What? It was, it you were making a joke about. Making a joke about my darn computer? Really? Oh. About my oh my god, that's the thing. Yes, it also looks rather dangerous. Dude, I would send this. If I can make a picture, I would send a picture. Send that on this. That's amazing. Yes. Can I just ask you? You made a joke about my darn computer? Really? Oh my lord. Sorry about that. What's wrong with him having made a joke about your computer? He said it was abducted by aliens. Because I'm using an alienware. That is a terrible joke. You just you should feel ashamed of yourself. I've reached the final room of the lava dome. Finally. Exactly. And like what? It only took you. Uh, the Something entirety Solomon? of the video. Yeah. Really didn't get this video. So why don't you just make up some boss and then? Okay, that was the wrong way. Well, it's a good thing none of these platforms sink. Yeah, it's too much for this game. Anything's uh, too much for this game. Go. I, uh, I mean, I know, like, you like this game, but it's just. Oh boy, having memories back to that one video you did? Huh? You know the video. I do? Yeah, the acapella. 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 You did one of the... <laughs> yeah. Acapella. You did one for this one song in this game. Well, it wasn't this song. I know. But you did it for a song. I well, did. you just missed the loss! I'm dumb. I killed the ninja instead of the Medusa. There we go, Medusa's dead. Uh, okay. Now you cannot be petrified. Which candy? Oh, you're strong against fire. Yeah. I believe it's it's not this way. Okay. But you got cure potions that you probably use. Mm -hmm. I want to cure that blindness too. I might. I won't. I'll be fine. And there's big bad boss. You know what must be done. I do. 
The thing that must be done is... IS... Going to have to be done next time! No. This is happening. I... I can't sing anymore. Okay. Okay. See you next time, YouTube.